Hey guys, Crypto Dad here again, and the new Binance Mainnet Dex is now live. So I'm going to show you how to use it and uh, talk about what it's all about. So let's get going. All right, so I've got an article here about the release of the new DEX uh, for Binance Coin, the new Binance Coin, the BNB Coin. As you may be aware, Binance Coin has been around for a while, but it's been an ERC20 token. It lived on the Ethereum network. So now they've made the transition to their own chain, their own blockchain. And this chain is going to host the Binance Coin and also the Binance DEX, a decentralized trading platform. So let's take a quick look at uh, the article and how we're gonna go about uh, creating a wallet uh, so that we can uh, participate in this uh, Binance DEX. All right, so I'll put a link to this article down in the description so you guys can check it out. Uh, so we talk. it talks about uh, the DEX. Uh, the article has a couple of links to some Twitter feeds. Uh, which have links to the real article. So here is the uh, full-blown announcement from Binance. Uh, Binance has now completed the Binance Chain mainnet swap, which started as scheduled at 10 a.m. Uh, UTC plus 8, April 23rd. Uh, all Binance Chain DEX services such as Web Wallet, Explore, uh, REST API, Accelerated Nodes are also available to the public. Uh, trading on Binance DEX will go live as soon as the first trading pair is listed at a later date. So it uh, doesn't look like we're going to be able to do any trades today, but at least we can get the wallet set up. So if we follow this link here, yeah, it's going to take us to the uh, DEX page. All right, so let's go through this setup. Uh, we'll do a create wallet. And uh, we've got the wallet tutorial, which uh, we had before on the test net. Uh, read this all carefully. When you create a, a cryptocurrency wallet, a real cryptocurrency wallet, you have full responsibility for that wallet. So you're going to need to back up your private key, and you're going to need to uh, remember your password and all of that good stuff, uh, because no one can recover it for you. All right? This is not like a hot wallet uh, or like a Facebook or a Twitter account where if you forget your login you can contact tech support. That's not the way cryptocurrency works. Uh, you, When you control that private key you actually own the cryptocurrency but with that ownership comes great responsibility uh, to coin a phrase. So please read all this carefully, uh, go through it and uh, make sure that you're very careful about the way you create these wallets. Now, uh, there are several ways to create these wallets uh, with the key store, password, mnemonic phrase, uh, the private key, but it's much better to manage your private key on a hardware device than to sort of manage it yourself using one of these methods. Uh, all of these methods are okay and they're good if you're uh, careful. But I found that the best way to manage a private key is on a, a hardware device. And my hardware device of choice is the Ledger Nano. So I'm going to show you how that goes. So we can tick this little box here, and then I'm just going to choose Unlock an Existing Wallet. Now, uh, the reason that I have an existing wallet is uh, because I've got my Ledger set up, or I will soon. So let me show you how that goes, too. So I'm in the Ledger Manager right now, and the Ledger Manager is where you add and remove apps. Now I want to just point something out here. If we go up here to Settings, and we scroll down to the bottom, uh, they have this Developer Mode. And uh, when they had the testnet available, it needed to be active in order to get the Binance Coin app. All right. But now, uh, I checked it this morning, I just turned it off. I'm no longer in developer mode. So I go back over here uh, to manager, and you'll notice here I'm in the ledger manager. Now I'm gonna search for Binance. Now you'll notice that Binance Chain is now available, and there's a new version of it. 
And so uh, I'm going to use this for my private key. So what happens now when I hit install, the Binance Chain app gets installed on my Ledger Nano S. Okay, so now that we've got the Binance Chain app installed on the Ledger Nano S, uh, we've basically created a uh, key pair on the Ledger Nano S for Binance Coin. Uh, we've generated a private key and a public uh, address, or the uh, private public key pair, right? <laughs> All right, so now that we have that installed on our Ledger Nano S, we can manage that private key uh, through the Ledger. Uh, the private key will never be exposed to the internet. So back at this screen, I've got my Ledger device connected. I'm going to uh, go ahead and go to the next screen. As you can see here, they've asked me to enter the PIN and open the Binance Chain app. All right, so uh, we get the Binance Chain app ready and I hit both buttons and now I'm in the Binance Chain app, right? Ready to go. So I'll hit next or connect to Ledger as the button says. All right, and there it is. It's generated some addresses for me. I'm just gonna use this first address. I'm gonna hit confirm. And now it wants me to confirm that address on the device. So as you can see, there's an, a an address scrolling back and forth on the device. We just confirm that that's the same address showing on the screen. That's a fail safe. And once I do that, I have full access to the DEX, right? Uh, so it's telling me that the Binance chain is ready and I can go to balances. Okay, and see when I go to balances, it just double checks uh, to make sure that that is the right address again. And there we go. Uh, so right now I don't have any BNB coin in here. Um, and I don't believe there are any key pairs available for trading yet. As you can see, it's empty. But I'm going to do a little experiment. I'm going to throw some BNB coin into this wallet so we can see. All right, so I'm going to run over here to my Binance account. All right, I'm going to go over here to funds. And as you can see, I've got some Binance coin in my account. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to withdraw that. And where am I going to withdraw it to? I'm going to withdraw it to my own wallet. So I just go over here. You can see that's that wallet address. That's that public address, uh, the address that is uh, stored on my uh, Ledger Nano S. So I'm going to hit this uh, copy address. I'm going to go back over here to uh, withdrawal. And then I'm going to paste in that address, right? Now I don't need a memo address because I'm sending it to my own wallet. So I'm going to click no, uh, no memo. All right, and then I'm just gonna withdraw one Binance coin and they're gonna charge me 0 0.005. So I'll just add that so that I get one, right? It's gonna move one over. I'll hit submit and put in my Google Authenticator code. All right, so the, the uh, withdrawal was successful here. Now I do need to confirm that on uh, with my email. So uh, this is another one of their fail safes. All right, and this is the uh, confirmation email that I received from Binance. I'm going to hit uh, confirm withdrawal, and then I can go over to the deposits and withdrawal page and confirm that. So there you go. You can see that uh, I, they're processing the BNB withdrawal, and this is a BNB address. This is not a uh, Ethereum address. If you recall, uh, an Ethereum address looks like this with the zero X at the very beginning. So this is uh, the full-blown Binance chain coin that I'm dealing with here. Pretty cool. So let's go back over to the uh, DEX and then uh, we'll just hang out and wait for that uh, BNB coin to appear in this particular wallet. Hey, there we go. As you can see, I've got the BNB native chain token, Binance chain native token, stored in my own wallet 
uh, which is being managed by the Ledger Nano S. So I have a public address for this wallet where anyone with Binance Coin can send Binance Coin to this address. And it doesn't have to be an even number. I don't want you to think that just because I, I sent one that it always has to be an even number. It's dividable just like Bitcoin. I can send, uh, you know, 0.01. Uh, there's usually a minimum, though, when you uh, withdraw from the exchanges. Not a huge thing. <clears throat> so I could add more into this wallet if I wanted to. And uh, as we can see, there's really not much I can do uh, with the coin that's in here because there aren't any trading pairs available yet. But uh, when there are, uh, I will be able to uh, trade on this DEX using my Binance uh, coin, uh, my native Binance coin. And this is uh, quite a big deal, okay? So this is going to be very similar to the Ethereum network. There will be coins issued on this network. Uh, there will be other coins added that you'll be able to trade back and forth using your uh, Binance coin. So uh, quite a big deal. So uh, I hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, more to come later as this uh, DEX becomes more functional. And uh, if you have any questions about anything I did, please throw them up in the comments. I'd like to remind everyone that I have a live stream every Friday night, 6 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. Please join me for the live Q&A in L.A. Uh, throw out any questions that you may have, and I'll do my best to get them answered. Hope to see you there. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you'd like to subscribe to my channel, I would appreciate it. When you subscribe, there's a little bell that you can click that will allow you to be alerted whenever I post new content. Once again, thanks for joining me, and hope to see you again soon.